لو يسر عنه الا الواحد according to your principle how one can uh, know the tenth one from the tenth one i mean the uh, tenth intellect all the these all these creatures and all these multi multiplicity came out i mean that it must be the next and the next and the next one till uh, from uh, i mean that it, it, it must be uh, something like plato's theory of uh, ideas yeah yeah this is it means if you know the question is if we are going to connect the subunit world to the active intelligence why can we not connect them to the first principle god and or the and first intellect as it says yeah this is these are these are the objections of course made by khaje against the avicenna and so on and i, I would explain it Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Sayyidina Muhammadin Wa Alihi Ta'ari Okay I'm going to answer somehow the questions in a way on the basis of my own knowledge uh, Concerning the last question the role of active intelligence according to philosophers which they say in a way acts as the governor as the controller of the subunit world with its multiplicity all types of manyness and multiplicity the question was this why the higher intellects and intelligences cannot and could not play the same role and uh, if they are intellects so every intellect has limited aspects so these limited aspects cannot be the ground philosophically for controlling so many multiple things and beings and so on in other words Uh, the problem of philosophers was the relation between one and many they said god is one so the world in world there are many many things and multiple things so they cannot be directly and immediately okay uh, connected they designed this system they design it means philosophize again by philosophizing or rationalizing we do not make any changes in the reality reality is reality as it is so if somebody denies for example the existence of god he cannot make any change in the external world as if somebody believes in god again he doesn't make any exchanges in the reality it means if god exists exists if does not exist does not exist if the intelligences are 10 they are 10 by adding in my own ideas or by subtracting or dividing and so on i do not make any changes in reality so again in philosophy as the act of rationality we are making the reality more understandable and plausible so always we are dealing with the concepts again the question was so how is it possible for the active intelligence as the last intellect with its limited aspects to control these multiple things this was the questions i said this objection this is objection actually this objection somehow was raised by khaja nasiruddin tusi to philosophers they said in answering the asharite or in answering the theologians 
who do not accept such ordering, order of being, such a scale of reality. And they say God is creator, the only single unique creator, and the rest are creatures. So in answering them, you said God because is one and simple, there is no multiplicity in it, it cannot be regarded, cannot be accept, uh, considered as the ground, as the immediate ground, as the immediate cause of everything. Khaja Nasir says, somehow the same objection can be made, the philosopher's own ideas about the active intelligences. Because it is also has limited aspects. So with limited aspects cannot control or cannot be the ground or cause of so many, so much, multiple things and so on. This is the objection of Khawajas. And that's why Sohrawardi and also Mullahs and Avicenna was not dogmatic about the number of the intellects. So they said the number is adjustable, can be in a way added, can be changed in accordance with other uh, data or other information and so on. And anyway, I can say philosophers uh, in this regard cannot adequately answer and still the relation between the intellect whether the first or the last intellect and the multiple things remains uh, unsolved they try to answer some somehow they give the answers but they could not give actually the last answers but Khaja Nasir again somehow try to answer the question because he himself has philosophical interest and he is also as the commentator of the Avicenna. He says maybe the last intellect because of uh, his awareness, its awareness toward the other intellects, it gives, it gains so many aspects because here we cannot say that active intelligence has only three awarenesses in proportion to or in accordance with the three uh, realities encountering with it. Because active intelligence, because it is intelligence, has knowledge of God, has knowledge of the second, has knowledge of the third. So the aspects here became multiple, but not so multiple as the multiplicity in the universe and in this sublunar world. And uh, anyway, but Sohravardi, he says, no, there are not only we have the hierarchical uh, intellects, but also we have a vertical, horizontal. Okay, so. He, in his metaphysics of light, of course, he speaks of the lights, not intelligence. He says not only the hierarchical lights, but also horizontal lights. But these lights <coughs> can somehow manage or some control and some dominate or some govern, whatever you may call it, the sublunar world and so on. This is what can be said in this regard. But concerning the... <laughs> more complex idea and questions about the dilemma of how can one become many? This question, of, of course, induced and persuaded, compelled somehow philosophers to, to the theory of the intellect, as I said. They said one does not become many. They said, from one, only one proceeds. First, 
from first principle, which is God, which is the real, which is the truth, only one immediately proceed. So there are not too many. And also, one does not become one. This is not the process of becoming. This is not the process. So what is the process? Here, depending on how deep we are thinking, how deep one thinker is, sometimes they say, one create one. This is the theology, creation. Sometimes they say, one emanate, emanates things, proceeds from things. This is the Plotinus, philosophical Abyssinian, Farabian, and so on. So this is not the creation. Emanation, precision, proceeding. And, uh, but because such explanation was not satisfactory, actually, the deeper thinkers, I mean those who, we can say Sufi philosophers, mystical philosophers, they developed the idea of manifestation. I say, so one manifest. But again, I think, if there is a dilemma, if there is a problem, this problem somehow show itself in philosophy, also show itself in mysticisms. Again, still, I mean, there is a good reason for us to be bewildered, to be perplexed. Because again, we should not, we cannot deny that there are a multiple manifestations, multiple theophany, multiple disclosures, multiple self-revelations. You might change the expressions and phrase, okay? As I said, the shallow thinkers, the ordinary conventional thinkers, they said God is the creator, so there are many creatures. So here the problem of how can one creates many? This is difficult question, but for those who have uh, first take for granted some other principles, I mean it's philosophical problem principles. Especially if we say that one creates many which have independent existence. Not only creating many, but this, this many have independent existence. This is very, very, how can, I, we can, can be resolve this problem. If we say create many, we can imagine create many, but they have independent existence from his existence, and he, yeah. you see, this is very, very difficult to be, uh, it's impossible to be, to be resolved. At the beginning, of course, at the beginning of the theology, some theologians who had not, some Muslims who had not clear understanding of who had not clear understanding of the relation between creator and creation, and who actually did not have a good understanding of the act of creation. Imagine that, that God is creator in the sense that, in the sense that he made some changes. In some rivayat, in some traditions we have, that somebody came to the holy imam and he said, I can create. Imam opposed and objected. How can you create? So he says, I can put some seeds of anyway, crops in the bottle, and then I closed it, and then because of the humids of it, after one month or two months, there will be many worms, for example, in it. So I, I am the creator of these worms. But the Imam says, if you are the creator, uh, tell me how many worms are in the bottle. How many of them are male and how many of them are female. 
It means the ordinary people did not understand that creation doesn't mean to make some changes, to put some things in the bottle and then, and to, for example, in the process of this, some chemical changes, they themselves changes to, to anyway, worms or any uh, insects or and some of some something like that. They had not good uh, understanding actually of relation between creator and creation, creatures, creator and creatures. So for them, at the beginning, some people imagine that if, if it were possible, if it were possible, it is not possible, if it were possible that God comes to an end, the existence of God comes to an end, the universe will continue to exist. And they imagine that the act of God resembles the act of a builder, for example, who built a building. So this building, uh, anyway, was made under the supervision or under the anyway, control of architects or some builders, some people who, anyway, make some changes, some combined, these and these. They had not clear understanding that the relation between God and the universe is not such relations, is much deeper than this. But, but because we did not, we do not, nobody has even one case of creation, one case, one instance of creations. We always, sometimes we say this is the creator of a, a piece of art, the author of art, but this author, this creator, doesn't mean the means bring out of nothing. So whatever changes we make, we only the maximum, the most things we can do to make some changes. I cannot create out of nothing. So I need tools, I need some materials. I in this way I can make some changes. So Aristotle, uh, when I said Aristotle, when he says unmoved mover again it means God does not create God only makes some changes as the beloved that draws the what someone who fall in love behind him or behind her okay so God acts as a final cause and sets the world in motion through the desire of soul and so Oh, these, this is not the creation. This is not the bring about. This is not the existentiating. So, they came, some of the, uh, we can say, those who are not deep enough in philosophy or in theology, thought that God is the only eternal being. The rest of them are created. It means they were, they were non-existent and then they came into being. Otherwise, they are not in need of any cause. And then because, because of that, Avicenna says, no. Whether some, if something is dependent, is dependent. If I am dependent on, for example, my, the life of my brain is dependent on the uh, beating of my heart, the circulation of the uh, blood, and the, anyway, the respiratory system of my body, these physiological, anyway, or biological process. If the brain of, life of my brain depends on it, if I say that, but my heart beat it since 60 years ago, 50 years ago. I'm not so old, of course. <laughs> I'm 50. 50 years ago, it doesn't make any difference. Now it's dependent. 